Hi, welcome back. In my last video, we were up in uh, Rod in Quebec, checking out some of the trails here in a system called La Tournée de Canton. So after finishing that, I wanted to check out another trail system here in the town of Saint-Félix de Valois. Uh, this trail system is called Les Sentiers de Plena Pointe à Romeo, big long name. So it just looked like something I could do pretty quickly, bang out a few runs. So uh, I thought I'd check it out. So it turns out that the network is not quite finished yet. Most of the trails seem to be like legacy trails. Uh, a lot of them haven't been well maintained. Uh, still lots of trees down because of the uh, the recent storm. It seems like they haven't blown the leaves off or anything. So I did notice some signs around saying uh, future trail system. So it seems like there's a municipal or a community effort in the works to, to revamp the trails. Uh, so for now, uh, even though I'm showing these video clips, I'm definitely not going to promote this network as a, as a venue or anything. Uh, it's just not quite there yet. Uh, but there is definitely potential as you'll see in some of the clips there's some pretty good bones to some of these trails uh, especially when you get over in this kind of more forested area here they just need a little TLC to get them into like a more rideable state now, having said that, this first trail that we're going to take a look at here called uh, R2, uh, it seems like it's pretty good to go. So it might have been one of the first trails that they worked on, perhaps. So I'm not going to go into uh, a whole bunch of detail on this one, but I think uh, watching the clips will at least give a good idea of uh, what to expect, especially if they do uh, fix it up a little later. So yeah, with that having been said, let's go uh, start with R2 and uh, jump in there. Hey, I'm trying to figure out where the trails go here. I'll do it as the gets here. I'm gonna check my map first. Of course, got some dirt bikes. Yeah, man. Wish I had my dirt bike in a place like this. I'll come out of here someday really kind of more of a dirt bike MX kind of territory. Right here. I feel like it's a little soft. It's not super sandy. It's definitely a base of sand or Hard to tell sometimes where the trail goes. Oh, here we go. Some sloppy sand, goodness. It's really, really soft and mushy. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's a green trail. Seems like it'd be good for kids, families, and stuff. Uh, the elevation changes on R2 are very minor, very shallow. You're probably looking at about like 25 foot deltas, so kind of family friendly kind of thing. Yeah, we got here. Big road. All right, I think I'll take a little break. So we will, or I will continue on with these piney sandy trails going on here. It's, uh, it, it's, so far it's not too sandy, I would say. It pedals fairly well, some mushy spots, but I guess this area is kind of hard packed. And um, seems like a nice system for like the locals, I guess. So I'm trying to get connected with another trail here. This is a little soft. Okay, so there's uh, two ways you can go. You can go pick up, pick up some other trails that way. There's a little like green loop. I want to try it. It's, uh, it's this way here. Yeah. Oh, down. V1, that's it. So V1 is going that way. Oops, gotta gear up. So on trail forks, it seems like a little mountainy, kind of forested loop. Just like a little drop. It's this cute little draw, it's so, so easy. Cute little drop to a table down there. 
I just don't feel like biking back up. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I probably will never come out here again. So, I mean, why not? Start from up here. Oh, sketchy. Table's a little weird. This table needs to be like a lot longer for the pitch of that jump. Like, it's, it's way too short. some pretty big valleys off the side here. Okay, so there's this like weird wood skinny right off to the side of this trail. So I'm gonna try it out. There's a couple little hops on it. Oh, oh, I'm off. Oh, damn, just didn't quite make it. <laughs> So it looks like off of that wood skinny you can just you continue here. That's the way to go. The trail's in pretty shaggy condition though. Not looking too good. What is this? And a massive tree right in the way. Yeah, so there's a huge tree down from the storm the other day. But this trail is not really upkept anyway, so I wouldn't really recommend it. Oh. I can never, I can never get those. Holy crap. <laughs> I just don't know what's supposed to happen here. It's like some trial stuff. I'm just gonna get on the road and uh, go up that way instead. Okay, so in the next clip, I'm just uh, right around here and I'm about to cross the road to go into uh, V2 and check out this segment of trails over here. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I don't recommend uh, going in here. I got seriously lost at the end of uh, V3. It's just super hard to tell where you're going. There's trees down and all that stuff. The trails aren't really well maintained and uh, yeah, definitely just don't recommend riding here yet. Lots of potential, good bones, but uh, it's just not there yet. So the video is just going to give a good idea of what's out there. And uh, yeah, hopefully someday it'll be all fixed up and uh, good for uh, a proper rip. All right, so I'm just at that intersection a little higher and we could try some of the trails on the other side now. Uh, V2 and V3. Little V2, V3. Yeah, getting a little tired. Through here. V2, V3, okay. Fun. Oh. Whoa. Just drop. Oh, that's a steep sucker. Holy crap. That is super steep. So I'm gonna do a run up first. Yeah, it's not a, it's just a little hop, but it's so steep. Let's be going off that. Okay. That's cool. So, which way we go? So, this is V2, V3, V4. Check them out. Okay. I'm just going to continue here. Uh, V5 that way. Yeah, V2. So yeah, these don't look too well maintained though. Tree down, up trees down. Nice. Oh, freaking jump. 
<laughs> yeah, that little drop back there, I didn't take that very good. That would have been a bigger gap. I would have uh, had some serious issues. All right. Oh, this is cool. Okay, we're going down into like a valley. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Nice. Oh, this is gnarly. Wow. Whoa. Damn, dude. Wow, this is like insane, man. Oh. the way back, not that steep. Pretty muddy section here. So that brought us down into a massive valley. That was some pretty, pretty wild switchbacks there. Holy crap. It's kind of neat actually. So yeah, I think, you know, the bones are there, right? The bones are there, it just needs a little TLC and, you know, a little love put into it. Okay, let's go V3's that way. Let's see how crazy V3 is, get back. This probably rides kind of more on the bottom of the valley, I think. Probably have it a little better. Bridge work here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So I will be climbing. Okay, so I kind of edited this to make it look like it kind of works out, but I did so much like trying to figure out how the end of this trail worked to finally get out. It was so bad I started actually panicking because I thought I was going to get like lost. It's just with the leaves down, it's just kind of really hard to follow when it gets towards the end of it. And then there's some trees down that kind of block the flow of the trail, so it makes it even more confusing. This nice little bench cut here. It's kind of cool. So this is the uh, tail end of V3 to get out. So I don't really know what's going on with this trail. It's not really, looks like some work's been done, but it's not really upkept. Tail end of V3 is like unrideable. It's basically just, there's no signs, there's trees down. It's just all over the place. I'm gonna make my way back to the parking lot and uh, it's gonna wrap up my day. So that's another thing too, coming back out of uh, V2, um, I should have hung a, a rate right there. I didn't, I kept on going and I ended up getting lost all out in here. There's like a huge maze of trails. So yeah, lesson learned, should have double checked trail forks. Oh, Sandy. I just want to get out. Let me out. I'm really tempted just to go right on the road. Just go back, this is looping back, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just beelining for the freaking road. Fuck this nonsense. All right, so I'm gonna head back to the parking lot. So I'm gonna sign off for now. On to back. Your source for high quality mountain bike and motocross content exclusively in Ontario and Quebec. Check it out today.